up guys? Today, Kevin and I uh, drove to Jersey. We figured that uh, we'd do a little video on, uh, an updated video on the E36. Um, show you all the stuff that's been done to it recently. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, we'll talk about it. Talk about it. Alright, so we're in Kevin's uh, E36. This is a 1997, right? 1997. Montreal Blue Metallic. <laughs> Whatever, you know, it takes to make a good video of somebody's car, like for a review. Yeah, so you heard it here, guys. We're doing a review on Kevin's E36. Uh, I know we've kind of done like a video review on this, but I want to just kind of do an updated one on how it currently sits. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys are subscribed to us, are really into the uh, the E36, and uh, Kevin has done a hell of a job building this thing up. It looks great, driving good. Um, we just drove out here tonight for a meet. Uh, I might put some video clips in at the end of this video, if it's good. Uh, if Friends there's the meat. if there's too many uh, donk ass cars, then I'm not gonna put the video clips in. But yeah, so I'm gonna hand the camera over to Kevin and uh, talk about the car. Um, first things first, does it drift? Yes. That was a, one of the first purchases. Uh, coil overs first. Uh, differential limited slip second. Because, of course, you gotta get sideways. Who wants an open differential in a real wheel drive car? <laughs> Not me. 3.38 gearing. Power plant's a uh, 2.8 liter M52 motor, single Vanos. Dang, this thing's um, clean. If you know anything about E36s, do the coolant first. Um, I was like, no, it's fine. It'll hold off. It's fine. What is this, Mishimoto? You got some Mishimoto bits? Some Mishimoto bits. I, um, I have spec D tune and aluminum radiator, which I yeah, probably should have just spent the extra like $80, $100 for a Mishimoto because everything else is their expansion tank for Mishimoto, the electrical fan, silicone hoses. You know, it was one of those days where I started my car, 10 seconds later, I heard a huge crash inside the engine bay, come out, radiator fluid everywhere. And sure enough, there was clutch fan bits, piercing the radiator, fluids left me stranded right out on, on Ralph Street where it stayed for a couple days. Oh yeah, yeah, I think you guys saw that in a previous video where we were working on that, trying to get all the, that stuff situated. I don't know if you guys have seen, uh, I actually, yeah, you have seen this. I remember in the Revere video, but yeah, the M3 front end is holding up great. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Looks how, sick. How long ago did we do this? Shit, I don't know. Uh, June, June 1st. June, yeah, that's because right. Because the slammed it up was June 8th. Yeah. So, all right, let's do this. Um, we're gonna do uh, top five things that you love about the car and then uh, top five things that you hate about the car. So five things off the bat that you love about the car. Uh, I love the fact that it's rear wheel drive. Um, skirt, skirt. Plenty, plenty of parts available for it. The whole time I've had this car, I've seen maybe an E36 in every junkyard. Uh, when I had the E30, I didn't see a single one. All right, so, uh, so parts are readily available. That's the number one. Um, cheapest way to go fast is definitely the E36 platform, and it being a convertible isn't as desirable as a coupe because people drift them. Yeah, but so, so Kevin's on the lookout for a hard top for this though, which yeah. E36s with the hard top, in my opinion, look, uh, better, than the look better than the coupes. Fight me if you want on that, but uh, yeah. the convertible with the hard top looks the best. Uh, yeah. Leave a comment below if you guys agree with that all right We'd what's number three from you youtube uh what else uh i do like the the blue interior i feel like that's pretty rare we'll show another clip of it at night with the top down and everything exposed because it's kind of got some shit in the back all right for number four i'm gonna go ahead and say my favorite thing about this car is all the smiles it brings to uh to people when they see it at shows and the smile it puts on my dude kevin's face when he's driving it 
I do love driving it. Yeah. I guess that's the one thing I do love is the drive. Uh, it's comfortable. What I about, feel like I could sit in it for hours. What about the fifth thing? What, the fifth? Fifth thing? Um, my M badge on the back. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no M badge on it, but there is an M front. <laughs> Once again, let's just look at this shit. Yellow box. All right, and what's five things that you hate about this car? Five things I hate about it is that it's a convertible. Um, I can't race it on the track because I need to have a roll cage and with the interior being as clean as it is it's not worth that compromise. Um, the coolant system was the biggest thing I hated about it. So number two. But do you hate um, that still now that you got that all situated? No. hate the fact that I put the skinny tires on there. I would like something a little beefier but a little trial and error you know I kind of learned from it. It's good it's you know I like it because it's it's more along the lines of a stancy boy. Of course, Ralph would. I have I have my uh, differences. Four. Um, the hail damage. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that in this car, but there is a decent a of hail decent amount of hail damage on the front end on the uh, on the hood mostly. And what's the fifth thing you hate about this thing? Driving it in Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> if uh. A lot of you viewers probably don't know, uh, but Philly sucks for driving low cars, and yet we are out here grinding, literally grinding the streets. Um, but you know, we get it done because uh, we're flossy like that. I guess maybe the fifth thing I do love is the color. You know, that's one thing people always compliment me on is the color, which is the Montreal blue metallic. Yeah. Uh, the blue interior. Staggered set of Rotiform RSCs. It's uh, 17 by 8 in the front with uh, 205 40s and then the back is 17 by 9 with um, 215 40s so it's got a little bit of you Did know the curb rash come with the wheels yeah Did you have to pay extra oh uh, no they actually shipped uh shipped the curb rash two weeks later when i put them on yeah They're like oh it's come complimentary with the uh living in philadelphia <laughs> um but yeah no the, and all, all jokes aside uh i mean this car is uh it's a spicy uh what's something what's something german not german uh it's a spicy sausage link that's that's german right it's a spicy <laughs> mustard pretzel <laughs> <laughs> this car's a spicy mustard pretzel now here question for all the uh you know all the non-stance uh viewers and more of the more of the performance viewers uh what's some performance specs on this uh, performance specs, super simple bolt-on modifications, k and cold air intake, um, fully upgraded aluminum radiator, coolant system, runs cool, cool, real cool. Um, just cat back exhaust, Borla. Uh, resonator delete, 3.38 gearing, limited slip differential with uh, adjustable lower control arms in the rear to help fit the wider tires in the back yeah you got a little um, bit of camera a little bit of camera you know, gang back here baby camera gang baby camera gang i wanted to get everything fixed with it before i start upgrading but now it's all the upgrades are going to be you know thousand dollars you know complimentary mods of like yeah what's next hard top hard top is next yeah. you heard it first hard top coming soon hard top uh, what else we got in here? Are you gonna paint match the hard top or keep it two different colors? Dude, I'm gonna paint match it. You know me. Paint match it. Yeah. It's a uh, renowned steering wheel with the BMW horn. It goes. It doesn't work. Just kidding. Car's not on. Beep. Beep. Oh, are you gonna send it? I I'm think it. the boy is gonna send it. I shot for rocks, my dude. It's lit! It's lit! <laughs> uh, it does uh, Cop's favorite treat, donuts. Yum.